The area that I work in is forensic chemistry. So forensic chemistry is really broken down into several different areas and we work on all of them in my lab. So uh, the first one really that kind of ties some things together is clandestine laboratories. A clandestine laboratory is a hidden lab. So it might be in someone's house, in a basement, or in a commercial building, but it's a hidden laboratory that's used generally to produce illicit substances. So clandestine laboratories, they could be explosive, so they're making explosives, or it could be drugs, where they're making drugs that people are going to abuse. So some of our research has been centered around detecting what drugs are actually being made in these labs, and can we detect it? And other research is what explosives are being made in these labs and can we detect it? And then once we get to that point and we start looking at the synthesis and detection of these things, we also then worry about safety. How do we safely process a clandestine laboratory with a chemist that might be in harm's way if it might explode or if there's something that's um, poisonous there that could hurt them? And from that same standpoint, we're actually doing some trace research looking at homes where drugs might be present, or maybe there was a clan lab there. It's important to me to know that there was a lab present, maybe for criminal purposes, but from a public health standpoint, it might be important for a family to know uh, that their the house they live in has been used to produce methamphetamine or some other illicit substance, because we can actually find health effects in people long-term based on their exposures in the environment. In general, we really want to improve the public health and also forensic sciences. So that means that we're working to improve the health of our communities and we're working to detect crimes so that we can take perpetrators off the street. In forensic sciences, we don't actually make any arrests and we don't run any investigations, but the research we do will actually contribute to solving crimes and some of the research we're doing is showing us where we're having environmental health impacts that we didn't even realize we had.